hello guys welcome back to our, my youtube channel if today is the first time you're coming across my youtube channel please do it to subscribe turn the description bell to be notified when i drop a particular video for you guys now in this particular topic that i brought to you guys today is how can you produce catfish feed i mean uh, especially the floating aspect how can you produce it out what do you need to know what do you need to put into consideration in order for you to produce this particular feed out and if you are conversant with my video, if you watch my video very well, you will notice that I have been dropping a lot of videos regarding fish feed, how you can produce it, where you can get your machine from. I mean the particular fabricated machine that can produce this particular feeder. So those are what we are going to discuss in this particular videos today. Okay. Now, if you want to produce a catfish feed, what do you need to know? And if you um, discover you, would, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you are conversant or probably if you are a fish farmer, most of the challenges that fish farmers do face is the area of the feeding you know the the cost of buying feed now is kind of expensive so due to that if you're a fish farmer yeah um, i mean i mean that that has a very big capacity um, capacity of this particular big on farm then you need to go into on feed production in order for you to reduce costs and also to know what and what you can feed your fish at a particular time okay so now this particular video will help you guys to understand what to do and where to start from now the number one point if you want to start on this particular feed production of a thing you need to get all your ingredients your ingredients are you making use of to produce a particular feed and as you know fish do consume both on um, plant and animal product both plant product and animal product when i talk about the plant product they are the maize the soya beans the gnc the bone meal and the lot and i mean and, and and a lot of things that you can make use of and when we talk about the animal products of a thing they are the fish meal the bone meal the mitonin the lime scene and a lot of things that you can make use of in order for your particular feed to come out successfully and to come out in the form of what floating so that is the number one point that i want you guys to know i've already mentioned the type of materials that are available that can make use of to produce your fish feed out successfully now the number so i mean the second point is the particular machines that you can use to produce this particular feed out and we have like four categories or four type of machine that can produce or that you will use to produce a floating feed out successfully the number one machine is the extruder machine the extruder machine is also called the pellet machine the pelletizer machine rather that is the particular machine that you can use to produce your floating feed out now the second one is the on uh, on the um I mean the, the horizontal mixer horizontal mixer is also a second machine that you can use to what um, to produce your fish feed out now the third machine is your grinder your grinder because you after the materials the next thing is for you to grind right so the grinder is a third machine that you can use what to do what to produce your feed out and the last machine but not the least is your wet mixer so there are four categories of machine that you can use to produce your feed out and at the end of this video you guys are going to see where we are mixing the feed and we are grinding it using those particular machine that i just mentioned okay you can you guys, you guys are going to watch that particular video right now okay so those are the four machines that you can use to produce your feed out successfully and probably if you are on, on, on i mean the little farm or probably if you have your farm in the smaller scale you can also produce this particular feed by using an alternative machine which are not a floating feed machine like our sinking feed machine like this particular picture showing right here you can make use of this one to produce a feed for your fish but the feed will be in form of what sinking not floating feed okay now the third point after the machines knowing the particular machine that you can make use of to produce your feed then is to grind your materials that is when the mixing aspect of it comes in like this particular mixing that, that i mean that we're doing right here you start mixing your materials those are the materials i just mentioned earlier you start mixing then after mixing that is when you take them to your machine to grind and the last point is to pelletize your feed out and drying then the the next thing is to supply it to your to your sellers to your buyers or to the farm or to i mean to be giving it to your fish that is the last point okay that is when you start after producing after pelleting you dry your feed after drying then you supply it to what your buyers your customers or you start giving it out to your fish and if you are looking for a very good formulas in order for you to i mean to produce your feed a floating feed out you can um, um, reach out to me and i'll help you to i mean to give you a very good formula 
or to generate a very good formula that you can follow in order for you to produce a floating feed out it's very simple it's not something that is very hard as far as you you know all the materials that are required to produce particular feed out the next thing is to know the percentage or the components of these particular materials you should know if or okay on this particular formula am i going to use more maize am i going to use more soya beans those are the only thing that you can reach out to me that can help you out with that now you've already know the material that can make you to produce your feed right and you've know the type of machine that you can use to produce your feed then after um, um the, the, knowing all those stuff you grind your thing and you start producing your feed out but if you are looking for where to get this particular machine i can also help you out with that i have people that do the fabricated one they i mean the, the, the one that we made here in nigeria that are kind of less expensive compared to the foreign one okay now you can reach out to me i can help you out to get those particular machine and you can make use of it okay so i'm here to help you guys and i'm here to put you guys through in order for you to understand how to produce your feed where to get your materials from and the type of machines that you can use to produce your feed if you have more questions to drop or more questions to ask me about this particular stuff the comment section is there do well to drop your message and i'll reply to you and bye for now